What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys saw from the title, I have a huge, huge announcement. I got a new sponsor. I'm officially a Mizuno athlete. I am so honored right now. It's actually unbelievable how crazy this is. So I played Mizuno golf clubs in middle school and high school and a little bit of college. And just to have them being able to sponsor me like as a creator, like as a golfer, YouTuber, is just mind boggling to me. Now with this new sponsorship, there's gonna be a lot of crazy cool new opportunities for the 2023 year, including a lot of cool behind the scenes stuff like inside the PGA Tour, Mizuno equipment testing, and matches and challenges against other professional golfers that are on Team Mizuno as well. I could not be more stoked about this new partnership, but first things first, let's take a look at what's in my bag. So I use a full 14 club Mizuno set along with their golf balls and gloves. And we're going to take a deep dive as to what is in my bag in this video. Let's go. So we're going to start this off with what's actually inside this big old freaking bag here. This is a staff bag. And if I use this every single day, I'll look like a D bag. So I made sure to get a cart bag as well. So this is what I normally use on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is just when I want to flex, you know, because I mean, how freaking cool is that, right? I never had a staff bag in my life and I was absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of pockets that are in this thing. We're gonna take a look at the big flap right here. This is where I keep all my training aids. So this putty mirror from Short Game Gains and this Pell's Golf Putting Tutor. These are two of my most favorite training aids that I use currently. Honestly, any putty mirror will work. Just find one that you like and stick with it. And it's really, really important that you find one or two drills that you do on a consistent basis, just so you build that muscle memory and it actually helps you build confidence as well. So you do a drill, you complete it, and you got a lot of confidence going to the golf course. All right, we're gonna get rid of this thing. You guys get it. It's time to flex now, come on. All right, now the top zipper. These include my Oakley sunglasses. Shout out Oakley, please sponsor me. How cool are these? These are like official golf glasses here. Now I look really professional with my big old staff bag. This side pocket. Oh, and these are the Mizuno Tour golf gloves. These are actually very, very cool. And I have a worn one already right here. And it's cool too, because it makes you feel like you're a baseball player. Not like a golfer. They have like the baseball straps right here. Just as soft as any other glove out there. I honestly like it better than the footwear gloves just because it feels a little bit more snug on your hands and you really get that feel around the greens. Okay, so that's the front and, and left side pocket area. Uh, I don't know what this pocket's for. I imagine it's for an umbrella. I mean, don't quote me on that. Um, we're gonna take a look at the other side pocket over here. Oh, this is very, very important right here. I do not go anywhere without wear SPF sunblock. The squeeze bottle right here is for your face and it consists of zinc. So it's not, it doesn't like snoke into your pores. It's actually very, very good for your skin complexion. And obviously gotta use the sprays for the arms, neck area and, and legs, just uh, quick and easy. And uh, you don't have to get your hands all oily and stuff. But this stuff, key, key to my success here. So this is the back of the bag right here. Very, very cool, very sleek, very cool. We're gonna check out the top pocket. This is really neat because it's kind of like a magnet. Keep my range finder in here and just kind of toss it in. They don't have to worry about losing it. Uh, I use a Bushnell range finder. There's, I mean, obviously those other range finders out there that are just as good, but Bushnell has been around for like the longest time. I've used it my whole entire career, junior golf, college golf, professional golf. They're the best in the game. Go get yourself a Bushnell. I'm not even sponsored by them. I just love to use them. Okay, now we go into the bottom zipper right here. Oh, and these are my ball stencils right here. I'll show you guys how I mark my Mizuno golf ball later into this video but I always keep a couple of these stencils on me just in case. Finally, this bottom zipper right here, where I keep my tees. So this is my tee bag, <laughs> get it? And these are the golf balls that I play. So I use the Mizuno Tour Ball and I put three lines on the top of this golf ball like so. So I had a problem with my putting to where I used to actually aim three degrees closed at setup and compensate it by opening up the putter face throughout the stroke, causing my stroke to be nice and loopy. And I would get super inconsistent on the greens. Speed control was off. Uh, my initial start, uh, starting line was off. But by putting these three lines on the top of my golf ball, it helps me set up to where I aim my putter face actually square. So I don't have to worry about manipulating the putter head all over the place to get it to square at impact. Now I could turn my brain off and just putt, which is very, very nice. I do not think well. I'm not, I'm not a good thinker on the golf course. So the more I could turn my brain off, the better. Okay, so I played the Mizuno RB Tour Ball, but as you could see, there are two options that you guys could pick. You could either pick the regular Tour Ball that I play, or you could pick the RB Tour X. The main difference between the RB Tour and the RB Tour X Mizuno Golf Ball is that the RB Tour is more of a penetrating ball flight off the tee. The RB Tour X has the mid to high trajectory and higher spin with your full swing shots. So basically the same amount of spin around the greens, just a little bit more spin with your irons and driver 
uh, than the RB Tour Bowl. I get enough spin as it is, so I obviously prefer the RB Tour Golf Ball over the RB Tour X, but to each his own, they have a golf ball for every golfer out there. All right, now we're gonna get into what everybody's been waiting for, the actual golf clubs. So we're gonna start with wedges and work our way back up the bag. So the biggest difference between my older set and newer set is that I actually added another wedge in the bag and I got rid of uh, a longer iron. So I used to play uh, my irons nine iron through three iron and i found that i didn't really hit the three iron too often honestly so i got rid of the three iron but i added another wedge in my bag so now i play with four wedges a pitching wedge 50 degree 55 degree and a 60. and what's really cool about these wedges is that i got them custom stamped uh, actually inside the tour truck at bay hill if the video hasn't come out yet i have a full bay hill vlog where i go inside uh, a tour practice round and we kind of got a behind the scenes uh, insight as to how these tour guys actually practice and prepare for a PGA Tour event. And we got to look at inside the Mizuno Tour Truck. So be on the lookout for that video. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, yes, where was I going? <laughs> 50 degree with seven bounce and as the S grind, I have the Mamba mentality wedge stamp on there. All these are Kobe inspired, by the way. Uh, Kobe is my favorite athlete growing up. I just love the way he kind of grinded and his approach to his craft. Like he went out there, he gave it all. He practiced so hard and he had such a killer mindset. I wanted some of that to be uh, to be on my new clubs here. So 50 degree with seven degrees of bounce, mama mentality wedge stamped. 55 degree with 13 degrees of bounce, job not finished, wedge stamp right here. The job is not finished when you have a 55 degree, usually. And then finally my 60 degree has 10 degrees of bounce and it has quote unquote Kobe. And basically if anybody has ever done this growing up, when you have a piece of trash and you throw it in the trash can, if you don't yell Kobe, there's something wrong with you. So Kobe with uh, exclamation point was Kobe with my 60 degree because I'm going to make every single shot <laughs> basically. Yeah, that's my wedge setup guys. I actually really, really love this setup. I'm very uh, anal when it comes to my uh, degree gaps and this five degree gap between all my wedges is like literally my OCD heaven right here. And moving into my irons, I play my pitching wedge through four iron in these new JPX Tour basically they look like blades, to be honest. Like when you sit up to these bad boys, th the top line is just super, super small, but they give you that cavity feel when you hit them, which is what I like. I like to look at kind of a smaller head. I used to play blades growing up. I know, sick flex, right? Um, but I don't like to look at like a big clunky thing when I'm looking down at my golf ball. And this JPX Tour uh, iron is like a sleek, nice, clean finish, but it gives me a little bit of forgiveness uh, in the back of the club here, which I definitely, definitely need. Um, what's really cool about these irons too is that, I don't know if you guys could tell, so I actually got them kind of customized. They put like lead tape in this little section here, like very, very flush. This is probably the best lead tape job that I've ever seen in my entire life. I got it done in the tour van. Of course, these guys do literally the best job for the guys out on tour and I guess for me, right? For, for, for this silly golfer right here. So I got fitted into these shafts with Bill from Mizuno, shout out. But we use the shaft optimizer from Mizuno. They own that thing, by the way. And they have this one club where you swing and you hit like five to 10 golf balls and it literally tells you the perfect shaft for you to use. So uh, it measures a ton of data within like kick point, club head speed, uh, smash factor, all that data, they compile it into this one software that gives you like a list of three different shafts that you that is perfect for you. So I got fitted into this shaft right here. It is the Project X LS 6.5, 125 gram shaft. And what the LS means is that it's a lower spin shaft. So instead of having my ball kind of balloon up into the wind, it actually kind of knuckles and really cuts through that wind, which helps me out a lot because I play in Florida and we play in a ton of wind, like 24 seven. My ball flight really, really spins a lot. So the shaft actually helps me kind of knock it down and keep it down to when I'm trying to hit those little off speed shots and coming into the green there. Moving on to my Mizuno utility iron right here. So I actually moved into a three iron, but bent it a couple degrees strong just to get rid of that uh, distance gap between my four iron and three wood. This thing is probably my favorite club in the bag. I hit it literally everywhere. It goes high, it goes low, it does everything I want it to do. And uh, probably a big factor is this hazardous uh, shaft right here. I use the hazardous uh, 6.5 90 gram low spin shaft. Uh, it's the RDX Smoke Addiction. <laughs> Addiction. It's the RDX Smoke Edition right here. I'm able to kind of like hit little stingers off the tee and uh, hit nice high uh, shots coming into par fives and stuff. So this thing's a goat. Probably my favorite club in the bag. All right, moving on to my three wood. 
Um, I played the STZ 230 15 degree three wood um, with a Fujikura Ventus TR 8X shaft. I freaking love this three wood. It is hard to find a good three wood. And once you do, you better keep it as long as possible. I had a three wood that I liked previously in my older set. And to come find that I actually hit this three wood 10 times better than my other one is such a shock. All right, now we're on to the big dog. Let the big dog eat, right? Uh, so there's two different options that you get with Mizuno drivers. You could either get the Mizuno STZ or the STX, which is quote unquote a draw uh, bias driver. But honestly, uh, the way Bill was describing it to me, there's a 50-50 split between the guys that use the STZ and the guys that use the STX on tour. And this thing, guys, this thing is an absolute freaking rocket. One of the longest drivers I've ever hit my entire life. It was the biggest shock, in my opinion, going into a full Mizuno bag. Like, I was confident in the wedges, confident in the irons, confident in the three-wood because I heard such good, great things about it. The only concern that I had was the driver. And this thing just does not disappoint. It is so hot off the face. I freaking, it's, it's a rocket. What can I say, it's a rocket. So the SDX Mizuno driver, and I use the Fujikura Ventus TR 7X shaft in here. All right, I forgot to mention the grip. So I use Golf Pride Tour Velvet midsize with the line on the back here. I have this grip in all my woods and irons, but I have just the regular stock midsize Tour Velvet in my wedges. And the difference is because uh, in, my, in my full swing, I want to feel this little rib, rib right here. Uh, just kind of like feel my hands. It, it really helps me feel connected with a golf club. But in my wedges, I open and close the face up all the time. So I don't want to kind of deal with that like kind of rib in the back here when I do open and close the club face up uh, just around the greens to hit different golf shots. So, so those are my grips and I have mid-size because I have ginormous hands. Size XL glove. Should have been an NFL QB. I probably would have gone drafted pretty high with these hands. All right, and last but not least, the putter, the magic wand, the flat stick any other nickname that you guys want to come up with and leave it in the comments below. But I use the uh, MCraft Amoy 02 milled forged Mizuno putter here. And Amoy basically means heavy in Japanese. And what's really cool about this putter, it actually comes with a personalized weight kit as well, which you never really see. Like if you want this in a Scotty, you have to pay like hundreds of dollars for it. And it comes automatically with each putter that you buy. So that's, that right there is huge in my department because I tinker with the weight of my putter all the time on different like various speeds of greens. But I went with the three gram weights because the putter is generally pretty heavy as it is. As you can see guys, this thing is so sexy looking. Blacked out shaft, blacked out head. Uh, Super Stroke Grip 2.0. Uh, shout out Spieth Gain. I started using a Super Stroke ever since I saw Jordan Spieth use it uh, in the 2015 Masters and I've been using it ever since. Uh, one of my all time favorite players. So prior to this putter, I used my Scotty Cameron for the last 12 years. I used it junior golf, collegiate golf, and professional golf. I never, never switched. And after switching to this is like, this thing is freaking so pure. Like it comes off the face so well and it just starts initially rolling end over end. I feel like it has to do a lot with the weight of the putter and the milling in the face here. It just gets the ball rolling right away. It is very, very pretty to look at. And it's very pretty to look at when you sit up too. It just, everything just looks so square. Oh, we got some special guests from these geese. These geese, I'm telling you guys, they're freaking vicious. They'll freaking bite your finger off if you're not careful. That's what's in my bag, guys. I'm so excited about this new partnership. There's gonna be a lot of great things coming in the 2023 year, but I can't wait for you guys to see. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, and stay tuned for the next video. A lot of cool stuff's coming. Peace.